Hello, welcome back to the EFL Trophy. This is match day two, and today we've got Oxford United away to Forest Green. So let's get to the game. Hello, welcome to the new lawn, the home of Forest Green Rovers. And their second game in this group stage is Oxford United. After the first game, Oxford United beating Northampton two goals to one. And Forest Green just squeezing past Boreham Wood. One goal to nil. So, two unbeaten sides clash together. Winner takes all. The winner of this game will definitely go through to the knockout stage. So, I can anticipate a quite a nervy game between these two sides. So, the appreciating of the crowd today. And we'll look at Forest Green. And we'll see, we've got Atchison up top. Joe Mills and Winchester, the flank in him. And what a cutting goal. So, not a bad lineup for Forest Green. Now we go to Oxford United. We've got the veteran Jamie Mackeon up top. We've got Cadden, Sykes, Ford, Rodriguez, Thorn. Yes, we've, we've more or less gone with the same side as we played against Northampton time. So, we'll be nervous games in this game. So, second game in the group stage, as I said. So Forest Green to get the game on the way this evening. And off we go in there. Unusual like a tiger stripe. But uh, Oxford in there. Away strip of all white. So the way. Mackey. Ford. Ah, we've got Ruffles on this left hand side. He's got players in the box. But it's too close to Wollacott. In the Forest Green goal. Hutchinson to Joe Mills, out to Kitchen on the left-hand side. Can he get one in? He's a bit of trickery there, but a good ball in. Oh, just wide. Well, he was going back to the goal when he received the ball, so it's quite difficult to actually get a shot, a decent shot on target. But you can see the ball come in, and it's, it's just back, but it's come off the defender. It's gone for a corner to Forest Green Rovers. Looking at the fixtures, Oxford have got uh, Borough and Wood in the last game, so I'm anticipating they beat them. But you never know. You never know on Pez. Well, anyway, it's Ford. He's got Mackey going through. Now come Jamie Mackey, go away from the can. Oh, he's been chucked back by the central defender. He had his arm pulled. I think that was. Oh, that was uh, unlucky. Good ball to Cadden. Oh, and a good ball to Long now. And Cadden. Oh, it's a shot, but Woolacut makes the save. Okay, anything can happen. Williams, long ball over the top. Oh, but Ruffles taking command of the situation. Goalkeeper in two minds to come out, but, but anyway, it's uh, Morton with the corner kick. Mills, Joe Mills. Shepard, and Shepard, Shepard scored! Well, Shepard has scored for the right back for Forest Green Rovers and put them in the lead, one goal to nil from the corner kick. And he goes and celebrates with the fans, you can see the corner kick came in and he's played inside the box, he's made a good one, nobody picked him up and he's caught it into the corner of the net. Forest Green Rovers won, Oxford nil. Advantage for his green for sure. Kitchen to Williams. Mill to Winchester. They're working it nicely. And Shepard's in a bit of space. And Caddy's. But he's played it back to Morton. To Richardson. Shot. 2 0. For his green rovers. Took full advantage of the Lux. Markin and Atchison has made it 2-0 to Forest Green. Two goals in quick succession. Has put Forest Green firmly in command of this tie. Well, we've got some thinking to do, Old Oxford. But see, Shepard again. Just played it back to the midfielders. And Atchison has just turned and put it into the corner of the net. 2-0, Forest Green. And Kitchen. Oh, but Mills... Can't get near these players, can we? Oh, one, two! Took a deflection and, oh, it's just gone wide. Three minutes to go on. Morton with a corner kick. Oh, and another header. But it's gone over for a goal kick. 
Blackmore and a super cross in and coming from deep to head the ball but it's steadied it over and now then Long he's got players in the box he's got plenty of them but and it, oh but and shot oh it's just flash pass but that is the half time whistle Oxford have got some serious thinking to do here to get back into this game 2-0 down to Forest Green Rovers well, welcome back to the new lawn, the home of Forest Green, who will lead two goals to nil against Oxford United in the group. So, Oxford United have made a slight change to their formation. And they have actually brought Zamora on. And Callan has dropped down into the right back for position. So, Adams, step in. Ball into Atchison, shot, but uh, Eastwood this time makes a save. Oh. So that's going to be a foul. Free kick. Well, Ford asking for the yellow card. I think that's always a, a bad sign of a bad sportsman when they do that sort of action. Trying to go fellow professional book for, well, it was nothing, was it? Just a coming together. Well, it's a free kick to Oxford. They need to capitalise on something now to get back into this game as quick as they can. So Sykes, good ball in, but it's over the top, but Wallacott takes it with ease. Morton. Can Cadden cut his out? Ah, Winchester. And Atkinson scores twice. Oh, he's buff side. Oh, what a relief for Oxford. It looks a bit amazed by that, but uh, wow. I'm not sure we'll have to see the replay. Yes, left foot legs on. Yes, his left leg's offside. He's come back. But yes, that's a free kick. So Oxford making a sub. Taylor coming on for Ford. Just spruce up left hand side up at the. Forest Green play up. There's Taylor. Rodriguez. He's shot, but Wallacott makes the save. Tamori for oh, a poor ball, but come on. Yes, he can. Why he's going into their space here? And it's oh, and what a miss! Oh, he just got it teed up. Lovely by Tamori, and that could easily have been two-one. But he's guided it, his header just wide. Well, flicked header. Well, that should have been 2 1. I know they've tried, and that's, there's Rawson. Oh, and it's a chat. Oh, but good save by Eastwood. Taylor. Oh, it's a ball through, but. Oh, Eastwood. Cuts it out. Again, yeah, Mussinio. Out to Zamori. Oh, well over the top. Awesome. We're into the final minute of this game, so the honours will go to Forest Green Rangers, Rovers. And there's the final whistle. Two goals to nil. Shepherd and Hutchinson, 31-38 minutes respectively. I've put Forest Green firmly in control of this lead. And Oxford must, must beat Bournemouth in the next game to actually progress. Well, I've got to say, the gameplay was quite interesting in that game. The defenders weren't doing what they wanted. There were some strange things were happening, but anyway, on the game itself, Oxford United have taken a 2-0 defeat. Forest Green firmly in control of the group. So we'll see how it pans out in match day three when that'll come up at the weekend. Thank you very much. Hi, welcome. Good evening, welcome to Glanford Park, the home of Scunthorpe United as they take on Portsmouth in the second game in the group stages. And after the first round of matches, Scunthorpe absolutely thrashed Stockport three goals to nil. Ought to have been about five or six according to form. Portsmouth on the other hand had a down game against Bolton which drew they drew nil-nil 
and they'll be looking for a little bit more in this game against against Scunthorpe who have the advantage of having three points and Portsmouth only having one but the only thing they can say that uh, Portsmouth played Stockport in the last game well there's the team lineups for today and you can see the 4-2-2 from Scunthorpe United established side Miller and Ward up top Eastwood in goal and anyway in the Portsmouth team the selection today we've gone for McCrory at the right back one of them should have on the right hand side of Marquis who's a, a, a prolific scorer if he can get the chance well anyway let's get to the kickoff and here we go referee whistle to his lips ready to get the game on the way and Scunthorpe will take this and we'll be on full of confidence after that first game of the group well anyway kicking left to right in their blue shirts and mauve shorts and Portsmouth today in their chain strip of all white they'll have Williams looking down on that right hand side but defenders too strong clearance by the keeper Cody to Morris is that oh and it's well shot oh just wide nice snapshot by Pittman played it nicely with Marquis there Marquis just flicking him in and he's turned but could direct the shot on target nice try by Portsmouth the ball to Williams another run by the full back down that side he's put it too for far and Pittman can he oh he's just took it too too wide the angle was not good for a shot but it was a nice five bit of play by Portsmouth see Pittman just took it a little bit too wide didn't trouble the goalkeeper with a shot and two down that right hand side have been working some nice positions Williams in oh and it nearly fell for Marquis but it just didn't die oh. ah Marquis now then he's got a bit of pace and Pittman with a shot to save with his foot Rag it. Alan Morris at the moment. And. Oh, but the keeper saved it. He got round the back. Final minute of the first half. Still no score. And there is the half time whistle. Cagey game, very cagey. Portsmouth nil. Scunthorpe nil. And I don't know if Scunthorpe will be the happier to the two sides. Oh, welcome back to Glamper Park, the home of Scunthorpe. Uh, nothing between the two sides after the first 45. Down, down him. Over the top, and Marquis is latched onto this. Can he get him there? McQuarrie, oh, he's hit the post. Oh, a lovely bit of play there by Portsmouth. A long ball forward. Route one stuff, right over the top. Marquis has latched onto it. He's got the beat in, but I think the keeper tipped it onto the post. We'll have to see if it's a corner. No, it's straight onto the post. I thought the keeper took our fingertips for that. Uh, a couple of substitutions for Portsmouth as Harness comes on for Williams and Taylor on for Morris. To Marquis. And it's Brown. To Curtis. Oh, he's been this success. Oh, and he's shot. Oh, he's wide. Oh, he just couldn't control himself. The ball was just, la just fizzing about down the bench of the box, and he's latched onto it. And he's just pushed it wide. Oh, but there's a, fa there's a foul earlier on, and Curtis has been booked. Yes, no, oh, he's just yes, Curtis ah, Brown is on. Can he get a he can Marquis? Oh, Pittman, Pittman, oh, he's put it wide. Oh, what a golden opportunity for Portsmouth. Marquis, first shot was saved, 
and he's pulled it back for Pittman and surely that was good. How on earth did he miss it? Oh, but he's been beaten. Marcus is not having the game. Oh, and he's through. Miller's through. Shot. Scott Neal. Mistake by the free defender. And he's found himself through on goal on the keeper. Absolutely no chance whatsoever. Scunthorpe United take the lead. 15 minutes to go. That will seal their will seal their chances of getting into their second round of this game competition. You see the ball, what a deal. Good got beat in the defence. There's the balls came through, slotted through. Oh my, 1-0. Poor defending. Marquis coming off and Hawkins is making his, his way onto the pitch. Cannon. Brown. Oh, can he get forward? He can. Ah, oh, Mark. Hawkins is through. Can he? But keeper saved it. Well, he had to try. We've got three minutes of injury time. So, can. Our oh, Portsmouth have got one more effort in them. Curtis. Oh, ball in. But keepers collected it with ease and he will not be any rush to kick this forward but he has done Van Hawkins and there's Curtis it's through Curtis it's oh what a save oh <laughs> well 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 you would have put your money on him equalise in there but Oh, he's come through on goal. And oh, keeper's made a super save. And it's the final effort for Thomas corner kick. This will be game set if they can get this in. But no. Oh, but there it is. There's the final whistle. Miller scoring after 75 minutes and Portsmouth are out of this competition. One point will not be enough to qualify. So, well, there's a the score, one goal to nil. We had eight shots to two. We did have our chances but didn't take any of them. So, congratulations to Scunthorpe, progressing. And, well, we'll catch you next time. Thank you.